Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin Syedina Muhammadin Wala alihi washabi ajamain amma ba'd The Honorable Lecture Dr. Andika Hadrin S.I.P.M.H.U.M. and all my beloved friends First of all, let us pray to the Let us pray to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who until now we are still given the blessing of faith and health To complete the assignment for the phonetic and phonology course And don't forget to send your salawat and greetings to the great prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Who has brought us from the world to the world Allow me to introduce myself My name is Ruska Febrianti from class A majoring in English Education, Faculty of Tarbiyah and Teacher Training, State Islamic University, Aladdin of Makassar. Okay, I made this video as a form of completing my assignment. It concerns material about articulation of suprasegmental sounds or word stress. The section deals with a discussion of the basic and general rules that learners should keep in mind regarding word stress when they speak English. Ground rules in this context refer to the basic rules or principles that form the basic for how to stress syllabus in English word. Uh, in ground rule relating, there are three two-word stress. Uh, the first, one word can only have one stress. When articulating English word, they generally have only one stress. Even though so, we know that there is a secondary voltage in addition to the primary voltage. But this, uh, but is only used in long words and it's always much less than the primary voltage. And B, we can only stress vowels, not consonant. Next, word stress is complicated in English. Many linguists and language practitioners formulate stress rules rules to help English learners understand where to place stress correctly. Correctly. However, it is important to remember that there are many exceptions to every rule, so do not rely on them too much. The positive side of these rules is that it provides a good framework for understanding that there are some general patterns to syllabus stress in multisyllabic English word. Kopeki, uh, 2010. In addition, it is suggested to use a dictionary to check the word stress of new words in addition to knowing the rule. In addition to the ground rules, placing word stress also has general rules. General rules refer to some useful ways that native speakers of English have in placing stress on English words. The rules are not seen from the perspective of the syllabus of the article linguist as Chomsky uh, 19 and 7, 70 purpose in the theory of transformational generative phonology but are simply seen from the perspective or practical. According to Quinn Quinn, 2018, there are at least eight general rules of word stress which is so be used by the learners of English as a foreign or a second language to improve their English pronunciation among other things. Uh, the first two syllables nouns and adjective. The general rule, as an English word is a noun or a word used to identify a person, thing, place, or abstract quality, or an adjective or a word used to give information about a noun, and has two syllables, their stress is mostly placed on the first syllable. For example, stress a uh, table. Silver, princess, people, people, heaven, water, country, picture, language, husband. Ex exception to these rules as not early that every rule has an exception. This rule has an exception as well. Uh, A.G. Hotel, for none and extreme, extreme. Not extreme, but extreme. For adjective, Kyun Guyan 2018 is of the opinion that is this exception occurs due to the one of these two reasons, i.e. the words were brought from another language or they could be totally random. Uh, the second two syllabus verbs and preposition. The general rule. When an English word is a verb or word used 
to describe an action, occurrence, or a state of being, or a preposition, a word preceding a noun, pro pronoun, or the ing form of a verb, an expression, a relation to another word, a part of the sentence, and has two syllables, the stress is mostly, but on the second syllable, for example, perfect, happy, future, special, equi, sorry, joyful, silent, little, lonely. For example, two syllables for m verbs and preposition is appear, believe, impress, promote, become, inspire, forget, behave, embrace, canvas. Okay, in addition to verbs, two syllables preposition also have stress on their second syllable. For example, about English preposition. Exception to a few words, there are of course exceptions to this rule as well, in which few English verbs essentially have stress on their second syllable. The example, uh, welcome, happen, whisper, bergen, in addition to verbs, two syllable preposition also have stress on their second syllable. The example, about, without, between, beside, beneath, below, behind, before, around, among, a chance, against, a course, above, and words which are both a noun and a verb, the general law. English has a number of words which are spelled alike, but are differently articulated depending on whether the word is used either as a noun or as a verb. In such a case, it, the word being used serves as a noun. The stress is then placed on the first syllable. However, if the word functions as a verb, the stress falls on the second syllable. Therefore, the learners of English need to know how to put the stress on the syllable of such words since they are relatively common in English and tend to cause misunderstanding among interlocutors due to the same spelling of the word. For example, Stress on syllables non Conduct Verb Conduct Attribute, attribute, combate, conflict, contest, contract, decrease, escort, impact, increase, increase, insult, object, object, permit, presence, prejudice, progress. Project, rebel, reveal, refine, reject, subject, suspect, and next three syllable words ending in the angel, ear, or lee, and the general rule. Uh, in English, as we have words which have three syllables to say, look at the words ending because placing the stress on the three syllables word is mostly affected by the words ending or the suffix. If the words ending is a primer or is or er or li, and the stress is commonly placed on the words first syllable. The following list provides some common words ending in each of this termination. Keep in mind, keep in mind that the words in the list are simply example and not exhaustive. Like the first words ending in er, for example, chur leather, cortaker, bullfire. Bread cashier, manager, manager, doorkeeper, official, so keep, 
zookeeper, foreigner, foreigner, traveler. Even if the rule regarding placing stress on this type of word is formulated, there are always many exceptions to this rule, as funny in uh, this word in which the stress is not put on the first but is one but is on the second syllabus instead e.g. adapter not adopter but adapter announcer not announcer but announcer and a composer composer not composer but composer word ending in leave and for example Orderly, family, properly, suddenly, commonly, currently, presently, elderly, openly, firmly. Just like the other rules, this rule also has exceptions to some three syllables were ending in li, in which these words do not have stress on the first syllable, but on the second instead, for example, the word uh, sincerely, not sincerely, but sincerely. Assembly, not assembly, but assembly. Uh, next, words ending in each sion and tion. The general rule. As we want to articulate words of English ending in each sion or tion, the stress is commonly placed on the second to the last syllable of the word. All we need to do is to count the word syllable backwards and to place the stress on the second syllable from the last one. For example, electronic, scientific, democratic, democratic, diagnostic, systematic, geographic, linguistic, Diplomatic, enthusiastic, interesting, photographic, words ending in sion, comprehension, apprehension, supervision, transi, transposition, preparation, 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 comprehension, compression, submission, commission. Possession, discussion, words ending in tian. The example, differentiation, instrumentation, dissatisfaction, personification, experimentation, experimentation, administration, identification, discrimination, Participation, contribution, contribution. Next, words ending in C, T, R, P, G, and all the general rule. When we are going to pronounce words which end in one of these effects, i.e., C, T, P, G, as well as all, the stress is usually put on the third syllable to last one. Therefore, we should count syllable of the words backwards and place the stress on the third syllable from the last one. The first words ending in C. The example. Interdependency. Interdependency. Transparency. Incompetency. Consistency. Bureaucracy, Preficiency, Redundancy, Conspiracy, Conspiracy, Inaccuracy, Inaccuracy, Pregnancy, Pregnancy, Words ending in G, The example, Incompatibility, Incompatibility, Instrumentality, Responsibility, respectability, heterogeneity, functionality, accessibility, productivity, municipality, and university. University.
university. Words ending in P. Cinematography. Autobiography. Bibliography. Osnography. Photography. Philosophy. Pornography. Geography. Ethnography. Biography. 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 Words ending E and G. Uh, the example. Biotechnology. Phenomenology. Anthropology. Methodology. Terminology. Archaeology. Technology. Psychology. Mythology. And strategy. In this word test rule, some exceptions are also found in which the words, the words, and uh, with suffix all, the primary stress is apparently not placed on the third level of the words, but, but, uh, of the words, but on the second one from the last, uh, eg, environmental. Not environmental, but environmental. Experimental, not experimental, but experimental. Instrumental, not instrumental, but instrumental. Next, compound nouns made by two nouns. The general rule in English, native English speaker frequently use compound noun words when they talk. A compound word is a combination of two or more words which indicate a single unit of meaning and refer to people, animals, please, place, things, or ideas, e.g. nouns and nouns, e.g. by, stop, or adjective, and noun, e.g. full moon. There are three kinds of compound nouns, i.e. Uh, the first, solid or closed compound nouns. This type is formed in one word from the two different words such as foot past from tooth and past, haircut from hair and cut, bedroom from bed and room, etc. Uh, the, the second, connected or hypnotic compound nouns, and the last page or open compound nouns. This type appears as two separate words, e.g. full moon, school bus, and swimming pool, etc. Most compound nouns have the word stress on the first word. Uh, the first word stress in solid components for example notebook bookstore superman wake scout fireman fireman football keyboard motorcycle bay friend the drum next word strike in happiness components the example, vice president, scholar, poet, student, athlete, sister-in-law, sis fire, carmel, court marshal, cross purposes, cross purposes, presidential, presidential, will weather, self control. Next word stress in open components. The example football player, car dealer, firefighter, smoke detector, grammar book, medical school, train station, train station, credit card, credit card, cell phone, blade tape. Next compound adjective and verbs and general rules. Uh, in spoken English, native English speakers occasionally use words of a uh, compound adjective. A compound adjective is formed when two or more adjectives are merged together to give the title. Information to the same noun, e.g., will noun teacher. This type of words are hypnotic or one another to avoid confusion or ambiguity. 
In most company objective, the stress is placed of the second word. Word stress in open company objective, for example. Stress placement, absent-minded, low spirit, dark green, easy going, easy going, skin deep, skin deep, main mate, self conscious, broken heart, cold blood, cold blood, self confident. In addition to compound adjective, we also uh, need to know how to articulate compound verbs in English. A compound verb refers to a multi-word verb that functions as a single verb. There are at least three types of compound verbs, i.e. professional verbs and parcel verbs, prepositional verbs and parcel verbs. A discussion of these types of compound words with example of prepositional verbs refer to a compound word consists of a verb and a preposition that come together to form a new phrase. When using this kind of words, native English speakers frequently put around stress on the preposition. Word stress in professional verbs, for example, look after. Pick on, turn away, come in, take off, stand by, give up, move over, pass for, go on. A parcel verb. Well, a parcel verb refers to a compound word. Whether separated by a happen or not, function as the verb in English. This type of word is usually articulated by placing the primary stress on the second or on the last part of the word. Here are the example for word stress in present verbs. Daydream, sight-read, soundproof, air condition, babysit, test drive, proof right, waterproof. Double clip, color code. All right. I think that's all from me. I. I'm sorry uh, if I have mistake about my lineage or I'm sorry. And I think enough for me. Thank you and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.